Welcome back. One of the more confusing ballot measures Californians will vote on next week is Proposition 34. Advocates claim it would close a loophole concerning prescription drug profits. But opponents argue it's really meant to specifically target one organization. KTLA's Lauren Lister breaks it down. Vote no on 34. Yes on 34. Proposition 34 takes aim at the spending of certain health care providers who benefit from a federal prescription drug discount program. It aims to put in place new rules. Prop 34 comes from a simple premise that money that Congress met for patients should go towards patients. Under the government program, drug makers give discounts on pharmaceuticals to eligible nonprofits that serve low-income patients. Those providers can then charge insurance plans full price and generate revenue to increase services and serve more low-income people. But the law doesn't directly restrict how the money is spent. And backers of the ballot measure claim some groups abuse the benefit. This uh, measure puts rules in place for the worst offenders of this program uh, so that they spend 98 percent of their money uh, on patient care. The nonprofit AIDS Healthcare Foundation is behind the No on 34 campaign. They claim the proposition targets them because of their advocacy work. It's what we call a revenge initiative. It actually targets one organization, which is AIDS Healthcare Foundation, which has put on the ballot now three times an initiative to expand rent control. That includes Prop 33 this November. For Prop 34, because of its narrow criteria, the Secretary of State finds few groups would likely be impacted. AIDS Healthcare maintains they may be the only. Important to understand who's sponsoring it, which is the California Apartment Association, and they are landlords, they're not patient advocates. The Yes campaign claims problems with healthcare nonprofits getting into affordable housing explains why landlords Landlords back Prop 34. They do not like to have folks in the market who are not uh, tied to market forces uh, and frankly offer uh, offer terrible housing. It gives them a bad name. And they point to patient advocate support from the ALS Association, Chronic Care Coalition, and United Nurses. AIDS Healthcare Foundation provides medical care to HIV AIDS patients and claims all spending from the federal drug benefit aligns with their mission. So it is spent on patient health care, but patients also need advocacy. Housing is a social determinant of health, which means that housing is health care. The National Organization for Women, LA Times Editorial Board, and nonpartisan Consumer Watchdog also oppose the measure. A yes vote is four new rules. A no vote means no change. In Los Angeles, I'm Lauren Lister.